afternoon and welcome to another episode of Words of Hope. This is being brought to you by the Sweet Valley Church of Christ and Pastor Rocky Benomo. We're located at 5439 Main Road in Sweet Valley, Pennsylvania. We'd also like to take this opportunity to invite you to join us on Wednesday night for our Wednesday Night Connection Bible Study Group at 8 p.m., as well as our Sunday virtual service at 9.30 a.m. These are all being live streamed on our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and website located at www.svccconnect.org. And now, let's turn it over to Pastor Rocky and today's Words of Hope. Okay, so good to, to have everybody tuned in. Uh, last week, talk, talking about faith that moves, faith that has action, and each one of those heroes of the faith that were mentioned all did something. Their faith moved. And so we're, we're getting through this particular chapter of Hebrews. And uh, let, let me, th these are some of the, these guys get a mention, but the, no details. So I'm going to give you guys details today. And it, it says here, starting in verse 32, what more shall I say? I don't have time to tell you about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets. Verse 32. So let's, let's take the, the time today to, uh, to talk about Gideon. And so we, we know the story. You guys have, have heard about uh, the story of Gideon and the, the fleece and his fleece. And so Gideon was a, a mighty warrior and God called him out. At, at the point where he found Gideon, Gideon was uh, working as a farmer in fields, uh, working on his, his uh, fields and so on. But he was doing it and he was doing his planting uh, hidden, basically. So he was hiding because the, the Israelites were being pursued and chased by raiders of uh, some foreign lands. They kept harassing the Israelites and destroying crops and just, you know, being, you know, typical. So Gideon is hiding, not, uh, it was not a character for a mighty warrior like himself, but but God finds him. And so, see, the, the reality is that God can can find us too, and he can use us even in spite of us hiding or or sheltering or or doing whatever, living in fear. God God can still use us, and he typically goes uh, for the folks that uh, have these these weaknesses, I, I, I me. And so he he finds Gideon. Gideon says, "I'll do this, but uh, can you can you kind of prove this to me that you're going to work through me like you say?" And he says, "I'm going to lay the fleece out." In the morning, I would like the fleece to be dry and the ground to be covered in dew. And that, of course, happens. And I might be mixing this up. I did it on Sunday. And then he says, uh, but one more thing. Let's try the, the reverse. Now, let's uh, have the uh, the fleece um, is dry and the ground is all dew. Or I, I might have messed it up. But, but the exact opposite happened. That's the point. And so God proves to Gideon that he's the guy. Gideon's army gets whittled down. And uh, it goes from... You know, he has 32,000 fighters, and they are, they are elite specialists. But God says, uh, I'm going to get the credit for this, so guess what? I'm going to whittle, whittle down your, your army. And I think that's the point uh, I want to make, is if sometimes God whittles us down before he's able to build us up. And so in, in this place we're all at, God might be whittling on you a little bit. He, God's ultimate goal for us is to become Christ-like, so that means we, he must stretch our faith. And so we might be getting whittled and we might be getting stretched at this point. So like Gideon, we're going to trust God. We're going to allow God to whittle on us and to, to, to thin us out a little bit and then to stretch our faith so that he can truly then use us. Where, where are you at today? Is, is God maybe whittling your, your army down a little bit? Is he stretching your faith? He, he wants to do that. Instead of focusing on our situation, or our circumstance or somebody else, God wants us to focus on us. And say it's us that uh, is, is holding things up. God wants you to have more faith. Just like Gideon. Allow God to get the credit knowing that in our weaknesses, then God's glory can be truly and fully revealed. Allow him to do that. Allow him to stretch your faith. Allow him to whittle, whittle down the army a little bit of yours. And, and watch what he does. He, he's going to do amazing things. Even in spite of what we got going on today, God will still move. And he does. Let me pray. Father, bless our people. Allow 
uh, them to get whittled down a little bit. And Father, allow, the, allow us all to, to get our faith stretched because we trust you and that's a key to it. So bless our people in a mighty way. We love you and thank you in, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you people. Stay in touch. Reach out if you need us. We're there for you. 